Well, hello. This is a uh, Saturday afternoon. Finally made it up uh, after doing a bunch of chores. This last week's been pretty hectic. Uh, uh, like I've mentioned to a few people, I'm like working uh, in the city for Monday through Friday right now. Uh, so it sort of jams up some of my time to do the videos only on the weekend. So just to sort of skip over all that, uh, I've had a lot of comments about people wanting to see some more about some of the trucks. So I figured I would do a video today just of the uh, M715s uh, or basically the Kaiser Jeep series. Uh, I've got a couple of them, uh, one, four in total, two that are complete, well pretty much complete, they both run, uh, and, and two that need work. Uh, I have an M715 which is on top of the mountain. I will we'll get to that later, but this one right here, I didn't look to see exactly what the number was, but I will tell you after I take a look on the dash. Uh, this one was done for the telegraph uh, services, and I do believe initially this thing had a front winch. Uh, the guy I got it from, it came like this. so. In the future, I've been keeping my eyes open to see if I can put the winch assembly back on it, but it's been pretty hard to even find any sort of parts for them. So, I'm going to pop the hood on this one. This one's a really This is a really nice one. This has a military style uh, uh, heavy duty air cleaner mounted up on the hood. This is the only one that I've seen with it up here. Most of the time I've uh, uh, seen them that they're uh, just down lower, so, uh, or they have a top. And uh, I'll grab the camera and look around. It's a really clean engine. It's a Tornado uh, straight six, I believe. Yeah, so. got the engine it's a little bit hard to see because I got the Sun just uh, coming right over the mountain uh, this is a very very clean unit normally instead of this uh, external uh, air cleaner you just had a regular air cleaner right there on top of the carburetor so. And uh, I have a few things. Uh, my window seems to have uh, gone off its slide. I've got to put that back on. Yeah. And this one even comes with a uh, an external light. Um, yeah. Now this has a fiberglass uh, top on it. The only ones uh, that I uh, know that had uh, hard top were aftermarkets. And uh, I used to put ladders and pole equipment up on top. And we have the side toolboxes. I'm trying to remember what this was down from and we got our battery box I uh, think I had yeah this is a uh, the top because when I got it, it was missing the top and I picked up a top so, yeah this one originally came with a winch 
but I've got to track down the, the stuff to put the winch back in. So. Yeah, I checked the, uh, the data plate inside and it says it's an M736 and it's a maintenance truck, one and a quarter ton. So we'll go and take a look at some of the others. Here is an M724. The data plate doesn't say anything more about it. And the one over there is an M715. The one at the top that is complete is another M715. You can see that these two have uh, all the uh, uh, stuff on them for the uh, canvas top. I actually like the canvas top, it's really cool, but uh, the canvas just, you know, degrades and wears out, and then you have to replace them. Well, this one has the air cleaner up above. I guess like the maintenance ones had them on the top. Uh, I do notice that uh, apparently somebody, the, somebody's taken the carburetor off of it and the bird has made a nest. So uh, it's a little bit of a bummer on having the carburetor taken. Everything else seems to be there. So, on uh, this one, when I was looking at it, well, in a little place. Apparently, this has been home for uh, for a bird, so I seem to have enjoyed it. This had uh, initially come with a front winch, which is not there. Uh, I believe I I had the winch assembly, and I think it's the one I put up on the other 715. Um, going through some dash components because this is very interesting this must have been the one that had a welder unit in the back because it actually has a rear PTO and the rear drive line to the rear axle is controlled by a yoke that slides if I can find it uh, I can't I can't see it without going up underneath so And uh, it was also on this one here, this front was rusted out. And so this, this bluish color part on this front grill is actually from a civilian model. On the military, they weld metal plates to cover these holes. And this is cut out on the civilian, but I just cut this piece from the military and put it back on just to cover up the hole. So, the civilian piece does fit if I just uh, replace those little plate, uh, uh, cutouts with the plates, which I can show you over here. See, there's the plates that the military puts in. And I guess they just ta tack weld them or spot weld them in place. For some reason, part of this is cut on the civilian models down here. So this one's missing an engine completely and I'm looking at trying to figure out a way to marry a Mopar 318 military engine with all the military components onto uh, the rest of the drivetrain. Another thing I'm looking at is a way to see if it's possible to change a hub uh, bolt pattern because these rims are an oddball rim and uh, it's uh, hard to uh, find any sort of rims for them. It'd be nice to be able to put eight lug uh, uh, steel rims on. Uh, 
my cab got all my seats have been taken out because they were all rotted away this has got a pretty good rear body Okay, now I'll uh, go up to the top and we'll show you the first one I've got, the one that's all working. It is interesting that uh, some of the parts for the 715 were actually uh, uh, converted from civilian use. Uh, they uh, did quite a bit of changes because like for the civilian version of the Jeep with the uh, uh, back bed that's obviously not that's like a custom military design that they did for the m715s and the fenders are cut out and then they put uh, uh, bigger uh, fender wells and flares onto it so you can put bigger tires on so uh, get out the ATV we'll get up to the top and we'll get some more footage up there Today on my way here, I stopped at uh, NPS and they were having 50% off sale of all the equipment and stuff. And uh, a lot of you say, well, how did he get all this stuff? And uh, uh, basically, it don't pay very much and I can show you some stuff here. What I've got right here, just to show you, is right here, this is 300 feet of 3 8 inch steel cable. That was the original price. You're going to take 50% off of that. The same with this. This was a little bit more. And then my shovels were $20 a piece. They are a uh, for digging post holes. And they've got the, the very good handles, the high impact plastic handles that like last forever. They were half off. I think it was probably around 18 a piece for those. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, fence posts that's going to have to go in. So it just happened to be lucky and had those. And uh, a couple tire bars. Uh, these things are actually pretty expensive, but uh, they uh, discount them uh, initially there at the, the surplus store, NPS, and then half off today. Uh, and these I use for doing a lot of my tires. I have a tire machine, but there are just times when you're out and you just need the tire bars and... You really want to have at least uh, three when you're, do, when you're working on the tires, if not four, because it's always nice to have an extra bar. You see, I'm like loaded pretty. That uh, 300 feet of 3.8 steel cable is very heavy. That's probably 200 pounds sitting there. So I have to be careful going up that I don't wheelie backwards. All right. We'll head up now. something very interesting I don't know if you realize I'm wearing like a, uh, a light shirt underneath this and this long turtleneck which is actually pretty good but I forgot to put my coat on when I was heading on up here I was so busy thinking about what I was gonna do for the video I forgot my coat uh, luckily I have the Sun on me because the air out here right now is probably somewhere between I would say 28 29 degrees it's below freezing uh, and without this Sun hitting me uh, which actually feels rather nice 
uh, I would be freezing. And I noticed when I was coming up the road, I started to get cold when I hit the, uh, the shaded area. So this is the, my, actually it was my first uh, M715. Uh, this came from uh, the uh, State Forestry Service. Uh, got some old empty missile boxes in the back and I'll show you around. I added on the antenna mount right there. And I, this did not come initially with a winch and I had gotten a winch for it and put it on, which I might end up taking it off and then putting it back on to the one that requires the winch. Uh, the PTO is not installed, the winch is just mounted on on the bumper. This one also has a aftermarket fiberglass uh, top. Ah, my batteries are probably dead. But, uh, oh, my uh, seats got a little bit rotted out. The seats were old to begin with. So, you know. So these fiberglass tops are nice, but uh, they're not quite as cool as having the soft tops. Well that's basically all for my little tour of the uh, M715s that I have. Uh, what, these are actually uh, one of my priorities to uh, work on. I really, really love these uh, because you can uh, uh, have it with this aftermarket uh, uh, hard top or you can put the soft top on it. The whole windshield will fold down or the individual windows will fold uh, uh, up like uh, you see in the uh, military uh, deuce and a half trucks and the five ton trucks. Uh, so it's really nice. Um, uh, the suspension is great too. I mean, I've drove over with one side over boulders that were two feet tall and it made it across. So, uh, I've been really impressed with it. So the other one down there that didn't have the engine, I would love to try to see about getting that 318 to match up. I could because Jeep made, uh, some, uh, uh, uh V8s for the civilian models. I could go with uh, one of them that uh, GM, uh, GMC used. Uh, I can't remember the, the type of engine it is, but uh, they will match up. But I'd prefer to use a, a, a military 318 engine in it, because uh, I think that would be like the best of both worlds, uh, because I have all military 318 uh, uh, parts for the Mopar, and. Uh, uh, spark plug wires and harness and everything so all right well that'll be uh, it for this video I've got a lot more stuff to do today uh, since I uh, started the work uh, during the week I am like running around and it feels like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off so I really appreciate everyone for their comments I'm trying to get to as many as I can but I'm really limited on time and energy. So uh, thanks again, and you guys have a great day.